What's going on guys, it's your boy Shavon here with Desk Setup Upgrades episode 4 and today is a super super exciting one because this is my first iMac, you can see it up there, boom, you can see that thing right up there in the corner, that's the iMac and yes I got it in pink because everything else would ship like 2-3 to three weeks later and I wanted to experience it, I wanted to get this video out for you guys super quick. But the funny thing is, I'm not even sure if this is a Desk Setup Upgrade because you guys know I love my PC man. We have the RTX 3080 over there, i9-10900K, but we have that M1 iMac. You know when you buy a PC, you have to buy the monitors, you have to buy your own keyboard, your own mouse and all that. With the iMac, it's different. You get everything you need, you just plug it in, you're good to go. It's, the M1 chip is built inside the iMac. That's why it's super thin. So the iMac right here costs 2,000 Canadian dollars. My personal PC, the beast of a PC, costs around 5,000 Canadian dollars. So yeah, it's a pick or choose. You guys know the iMac is not really that good for gaming and stuff like that. So if you're into gaming, you want to stick with the beast of a PC because you know you're gonna run those smooth FPS games. But in terms of productivity, the iMac may or may not be on par, even better than my PC when it comes on to video editing and stuff like that. So yeah, that's why I'm super excited for this video. We got to go and unbox that thing right there. Let's go. <laughs> So here we go. I saw that this iMac unboxing is kind of tricky. So I'm gonna try. Okay. I don't even know which side to start from. Okay, so we have to rip the top part first. Let's go ahead and rip that. Ooh, love to see it. I guess we unfold this. Okay, let me put this down because I do not want to flip my iMac over and break anything. Okay, yeah, so that's just a lift. There we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Okay. So now I think we just open these two sides right here and just pops open, right? Yeah, and I guess I just lift this out. Okay, let me just lift up. Oh, it's actually so light. Oh my God. All right, place the iMac to the side. It's super light, guys. Like, I took that up effortlessly. Inside here, we have the accessories. There we go. Oh, I didn't get the magic mouse. I thought I got the magic mouse. Oh, oh yes, I did. So inside, this is the package here. This is the magic trackpad. This is the first time I ever got, like, stuff like this. And everything is color coordinated. This kind of look more bronze than pink though in my opinion. This is the Magic Mouse. Very controversial mouse because everyone's saying that you can't charge it while it's being used at the same time. Nice packaging, Apple. Wow, my first Magic Mouse. It's crazy. And there you go, this is the charging port, the lightning charging cable. The keyboard. Oh, I didn't get the Touch ID keyboard. Okay, I missed out a lot on that one. So this is the keyboard you get with the base model. You don't get Touch ID. I would definitely recommend you guys to get Touch ID since you could autofill your password. But I have the Apple Watch so I could still log in easily. But autofilling your passwords with Touch ID would have been a really good um, luxury to have. And here you have the little rose gold keyboard right here. Feels kind of cheap, I'm not gonna lie. Feels really cheap like some Bluetooth keyboards you get off Amazon. But I guess that's what Apple Magic Keyboards feels like. Side here we have the lightning cable which is color coordinated so USB-C to lightning 
this is crazy hopefully apple starts to sell these in stores with the new iphones that would be really cool to see color coordinated but we have a color coordinated cable we also have the power cable and yes i did opt for the ethernet port because i love ethernet speeds so let's go ahead and unbox this so this is just a magnetic um power cable so we have the brick right here all right so you just plug this right here boom plug this into the wall this into the iMac and that's all you need everything is wireless do we have anything else guys okay it's just some paperwork i think we get two set of apple stickers you guys probably already know this we've seen tons of iMac unboxings already so yes we get this this looks red this red apple sticker we're supposed to get another one and then this rose gold bronzish pinkish apple sticker really cool which one are you gonna choose let me know down below in the comments red apple sticker or bronze apple sticker let me know in the comments all right guys moment of truth i think this is the back i'm gonna show you guys the back just peeling this off right here you guys will see the back first this is a first for me with this type of material i don't know what it is but it's really soft there we go okay so we still have some stuff to rip off again the back looks amazing all right, here we go. This is the back, guys. Ooh. It's always a blessing just to unbox an Apple product every time, man. Woo! The back looks really nice. Oh my God. The back actually looks insane. Okay, here we go. It's the front. Let's get it. I don't even know what to do. Where do you pull this from? Okay, so we have a pull tab right here, guys. Pull tab. It doesn't even look that bad. Oh my, it doesn't even look that bad. Ah, oh, the chin though, oof. I mean, it looks all right to me. I'm not gonna hate on it. It looks, I like the white bezels, but the chin, I know you have to keep all the stuff down here, like the fans, the speakers, the, the components to have good airflow. But guys, people are hate, like people are really hating on this iMac. It doesn't even look that bad. Then we have this one protective film around here. Let's get this off. That's like holding the corners. Boom, wow. It's so light too. Could literally lift this up with like, guys, this thing is super lightweight. All right, so now it's time to finally set everything up, guys. <sighs> Let me know down below in the comments if you're watching it this far. Put pink iMac with a pink heart. Yeah, so I know you made it this far, all right? Do it down below in the comments. But yeah, now it's time to put everything together to complete my productivity desk setup upgrade with the M1 iMac. Let's go. Always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time Met you on a Friday Halfway out at the door of the club Playing soul on the weekends Stayed in bed till Wednesday Fell in love with you right there and then I was young, couldn't see that <laughs> Alright guys, let me know what everyone's thinking down below in the comments. The setup is really clean. We still have the Elgato key lights over there. I decided to add a few um, greenery to the scene. So we have two floor pot from Ikea, of course. We're still using the Logitech speakers. Even though the speakers in the iMac is fairly good, I like to have more bass. So we have that subwoofer down there still. Crazy cable management on there, guys. And of course, we went with the AirPods Max for audio. 
and also this nice really nice headphone stand from Banks. shout out to Banks for sending this out i also wanted to add this aki light right here i really like the orange light you could also change it so if i wanted to I could change it to um, RGB colors, so I could just keep it at this color right here, which actually matches the, the mood as well. What are your thoughts? Let me know what you guys thinking about the setup down below in the comments. Did I kill it or not? All right, guys, it has been a day or so, and I'm thoroughly impressed with this iMac. Firstly, we have to talk about the design. It's what everyone's talking about, and I think Apple wasn't really aiming for a super stealthy look. It wasn't aiming for like pros or anything like that. This is a very fun looking iMac. It comes in a bunch of different colors and I think Apple is just really trying to get this thing to fit anywhere in your household. That's what I personally think. When I first saw it, I thought it looked childish. I was like, why did they just, why didn't they have a black version? But honestly, it looks good. If you have a setup that could follow up with the colorway of the iMac you choose, it really blends in well with their setup. A lot of people are talking smack about the bezels, a lot of people are talking smack about the chin, but it's actually there for a reason. Honestly, I think the white bezel works well if you have a white background. It just fades off into the background of your wall. So for example, my white walls, the white bezel is no issue to me. The chin could have been you know they could have done something probably put an apple logo down here but to me this just looks like a ice cream sandwich down here but i know that's where you have the speakers that's where you have the airflow so you, your um your iMac doesn't overheat and also all the components for this thing is placed down here if you look on the side you can see how thin this iMac is when you compare my iphone to it my iphone has a case on it's literally probably a centimeter thicker than the iPhone with the case on. So all the guts has been housed down here. And even the headphone jack is off to the side right here. That's how thin it is. MKBHD said it himself. If they wanted to put the headphone jack at the back, they can't because the headphone jack is actually longer than this thing. So yeah, you could fit this anywhere you want. It's that easy to set up and put and fit inside your workspace. All right, so the screen, it's a 4.5K, I think, retina display, and it's crazy good. The color accuracy is insane. I edited this video on here, and it was a little bit about performance. I had no issues. I edited on Premiere Pro Beta. When I wanted to put in motion graphics and all that stuff like plugins, I got a lot of crash messages. So if you're thinking about buying the M1 iMac to work on Premiere Pro and use plugins, it might you might want to hold off for now because the plugins are a hit and a miss. Some work and some didn't, and it crashed on um, Premiere Pro a lot of time. But I'm sure if you're using Final Cut, you'll be 100% fine. Final Cut works buttery smooth on here. I was editing stuff on Premiere Pro with my Sony A7S III footage, 4K, 10-bit, butter literally butter the only time i had issues when when i started to load text on it when i started to color grade then i had to lower the quality of the playback to i think one a quarter then it was working smooth so just keep that in mind one thing that really impressed me was how good the webcam is no i'm not saying it's like hd sharp and you have bokeh in the background but yeah this is the webcam quality guys 1080p personally this is the best webcam I've ever seen on any laptop device or any um, iMac laptop device from Apple specifically this is the best I've seen the audio you're hearing as well coming straight from the iMac and this is perfect for zoom calls talking to friends and family abroad this like this is what you need very good camera let me know what you think about this camera quality down below in the comments guys but yeah good job Apple so I'm someone who loves a good sounding like good sounding audio, either it's headphones or some built-in speakers and the iMac delivers. It's not crazy when it comes on to bass, but the clarity is there. It sounds very rich and premium. You won't be disappointed with how the audio quality sounds. In terms of volume levels, it won't like blast up a full room, but for my small bedroom right here, it definitely filled up the area and I could listen to YouTube videos, watch movies and all of that. It does a really good job. Now, one thing I must say, if you want to do stuff outside of the typical, you know, 
browsing, your typical daily usage of the iMac, I definitely recommend not to get the base model, go up a little higher because you only get 256 gig SSD storage. What I'm currently using is an external drive. So if you want to save a couple bucks, you could do that. So this is a Samsung T7 external drive that I hook up with the USB type C. It also has Thunderbolt support. But then again, with the base model, you only get two Thunderbolt slots. So if you want storage, if you want to actually use this thing as a workstation and get stuff done, definitely get the four um, Thunderbolt slots and also a higher storage. Even though my version came with the eight gig RAM, I still edited videos smoothly. Overall, man, I think Apple really did a good job with this iMac. This M1 thing that they have going on is crazy good. And yeah, that's my review. That's what I have to say about the iMac. It's really good if it fits into your workflow. Thank you guys for watching today's video and let me know what you think about this entire setup. Is it good? Is it the double or L? Let me know down below in the comments. We're almost at 100k guys. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and also drop a like for that YouTube algorithm. As always, love, peace and tweaks. Signing out.